Hello everyone and welcome to another custom Thomas Wooden Railway review video. In this, I am taking a look at a custom Wooden Railway Glen that I have just finished making. I started work on this a couple days ago and now it is uh, finished. Now, uh, for a little backstory in regards to Glen. Uh, Glenn first made an appearance in the Thomas and Friends special, The Adventure Begins, where at the end of the special, Thomas finds him on his, uh, branch line, and Glenn was there in the siding. He had been there for quite some time, uh, because he happens to be an old engine, and at some point, uh, before Thomas arrived on Sodor, uh, Glenn had broken down, like maybe, well, I'm not quite sure. I can't say that he was broken beyond repair, because he eventually does get repaired. So, Glenn was the original number one engine, well, at least I would think that he is. The reason why I'm debating on whether he is or isn't is because uh, the Thomas and Friends episode, Happy Birthday, Sir, showed that Edward had been on Sodor since Sir Topham Hatt was a kid. And then in the episode, The Christmas Coffee Pot, which I will go into more detail about that uh, in a moment, uh, Sir Topham Hatt said, You look as glorious as the day I built you. Which means that Sir Topham Hatt built Glyn himself. But he couldn't have done that when he was a kid, right? So, that leaves two possibilities. One is that... Edward could in fact be older than Glenn and maybe even w worked on the Soda Railway longer than Glenn and that there may have been another number one engine on Soda before even Glenn arrived. Or it could have just simply been a continuity error. So anyway, continuing on, uh, Glenn was found at some point in the 20th season, right before Christmas. Marion found him, although she thought that she found a talking Christmas tree, and she didn't give Glenn a chance to explain that he was not a Christmas tree, because you know how Marion is when she thinks she's come to the conclusion of something, and she doesn't let others explain, much like how she didn't let Oliver, the excavator, explain that he was not the same as Oliver, the Great Western Engine. That was certainly an interesting running uh, joke in, or gag in the uh, So There's Legends of the Lost Treasure special. So anyway, uh, Thomas then found Glenn himself. He went over to where Marion had supposedly found her talking Christmas tree. And he found Glenn on the siding. And Sir Topham Hatt was worried that... Uh, Sir Topham Hatt... Thomas was worried that Sir Topham Hatt would scrap Glenn if he found him, and Thomas did not want that to happen, so he took Glenn over to a shed where he would hopefully stay safe. Then, Sir... I keep... I'm a, I was just about to say Sir Topham Hatt, but no, I'm, I'm supposed to say Thomas. Thomas then... Uh, got help from the Earl, or he contacted the Earl to have Glynn be restored, and much to uh, Thomas's surprise, Sir Topham Hatt actually gave uh, the Earl permission to have Glynn be restored. And that was a relief to the engines that he was not going to scrap Glynn. So that was pretty good, and Glynn then became a new engine working at Ulstead Castle. Though I'm a bit surprised, well, maybe not entirely surprised, by the fact that Glenn still has the number one on his side, even though Thomas is now the number one engine. I guess uh, there was really no point in taking the number one off of Glenn, with there being another number one engine. I suppose the number one could mean something. It, well, it obviously means that he was the number one engine before Thomas. So that pretty much is Glenn's backstory. I was not expecting him to make another appearance after the adventure begins, 
and I'm pretty sure that a lot of other people did not expect him to make another appearance again either. Certainly was quite amazing how the adventure begins being a, uh, you know, a special that readapts the first couple episodes of Thomas and Friends, brings in some new characters that we have never seen before, and then many years later, within the TV series, we see them again. You know, like, we haven't seen Glenn at all in the TV series prior to The Adventure Begins. And, of course, Judy and Jerome were characters that, well, they were basically the breakdown train, but with faces. We've seen the breakdown train before, but they gained faces. But we didn't see a lot of the breakdown train, if any at all, up until The Adventure Begins. And it was certainly amazing to see them make another appearance after that as well. Okay, so here we are in the second recording. I am doing separate recordings because if you watch some of my other review videos, uh, you may have heard there being the case where the camera just turns off automatically after a certain period of time. So in order to prevent that, I am turning the camera I'm turning the camera on and off at different sessions to make sure that it doesn't turn off when I'm in the middle of the sentence. I've explained that before, but I'm explaining it again. I don't always, but sometimes I just bring it up again, just in case uh, this is the first time, or this is the first video that you are watching where I have mentioned this. But if I've mentioned it in another video you've seen before this one, well, I apologize, but I just thought I'd bring it up again. All right, so now to go over how I made this model. Now, I've seen quite a number of people do custom Wooden Railway Glen models on the internet. I've seen, you know, a few people, some people have made models that are probably more superior than this one. This is based upon what I was able to make with what I had uh, in my collection and what spare uh, trains or spare vehicles in my Wooden Railway collection I was uh, willing to modify to create this. Now, the body itself is made from an old wooden railway James's tender. Uh, Glenn is a much shorter engine, so I needed to use something that was very short. So I went with a James tender. Of course, you could use any tender to try to create a Glenn, just like the one that I've made here. Well, at least any in the standard shape of tender, because the shape of the tenders pretty much varies from engine to engine, but if it was uh, Edward, Henry, Gordon, or James's tender, uh, it would probably work, although probably not Henry if it was a version that came out much later, since they actually changed the shape of Henry's tender in much later releases. Originally, they had it be the same shape as Edward, Gordon, and James. In this case, what I used was a James tender. I, the James tender that I used was one that had the painted uh, coal bunker, not the plastic uh, coal like what we got in later releases. It was pretty much a James tender that was the first version of James's tender to ever come out. That is what this Glen used to be used to be a original James Tender with painted coal, not plastic. And, you know, although the other tenders could have worked out, uh, I think that James's Tender works out a lot better, considering that James himself is a red tender, and very often when you create a custom wooden railway train that is a different color from the, uh, the train that you are making it from, uh, very often, you may not be able to get the paint details on the lower section of the train, or the lower section of the top point of the train above the chassis. But in this case, uh, it actually worked out just fine, because I don't see... it. Well, it's actually really hard to tell that there are any points underneath this custom model that did not go unpainted on the bottom. Although, most people would not find that to be an issue if the bottom part of the train did not have any painting on it from doing all the spray painting. 
Although something you could do is probably actually take the top part of the train off the chassis and then spray paint the lower part, but I'm sure most people would prefer not to do that unless they really had a good reason to. And if if it was if if they didn't need to, they probably would not. So it pretty much worked out the fact that I used a red uh, train model to create a custom red train. Now, James, of course, had black wheels, but Glenn has red wheels. Although I did need to take a look at a picture, because I could not remember if Glenn had red wheels or black wheels. So I looked up an image of Glenn, and it turned out that he had red wheels. So this was something that I needed to paint on as well. Although the whole thing is actually spray painted, because otherwise you would probably see a lot of the bare wood marks uh, from uh, sawing the tender apart, and uh, I'm going to take this out of the way because it kind of blocks the view at certain areas. There is actually a little uh, chip down in this section right here from sawing, and I needed to cover that up somehow, although it's still actually very vi visible to see, uh, but something that I did was use this stuff called Model Magic, which I've mentioned in some of my earlier videos, just in case you never heard of that. It's a, basically a type of clay that dries in the air uh, that I've been using for a couple of years, or, well, quite a number of years, actually. So I used Model Magic to pretty much help cover up the gapness on the back part of Glenn, as well as the back part of his head, if you can even call it that. And his rail bars are also made of Model Magic and so is his vertical boiler. Now, the top part of the boiler was a actually added on second to last after I spray-painted the entire thing. I did use Red Mall Magic, by the way, but considering that I used spray paint, it probably would not matter, but I used Red anyway because it would really work with the character, although I don't really see any markings that, you know, any any of the original color. It was actually a slightly brighter red, or a slightly lighter red, than the red spray paint that I used. But I just went ahead with it because I thought that it would be the best choice. Moving right along, another thing that is made of Model Magic would be the headlamp. Now, I actually at first put the headlamp in the center on top of Glenn's head, which was actually incorrect, and uh, I was not quite sure if the headlamp moved from different scenes, but as it turned out, most scenes show the headlamp at the very side right here, so I, I just had to move it over right there. And pretty much it did take me a couple of paint sessions to get this uh, completed. Uh, making sure that there were no bare marks, because sometimes there may be a few bare marks on, like, particularly the wheel, for sometimes you can see the original color just sticking out, and it can take a couple of spray paint attempts to get it covered up. In my case, I actually just used a paintbrush and painted uh, the wheels. And, of course, I also used the paintbrush to create the gold lining around the boiler, and uh, also some gold paint to paint the, uh, the circle part where Glenn's name board is supposed to be. Now, of course, if this was an official Thomas Wooden Railway model, I, I'm pretty sure that it would have Glenn's actual name be printed onto there, but I could not get that using the paint, and I don't think I will even bother to get that in. Oh, well. And... Of course, I also took some yellow paint on the paintbrush and painted the number one. Although, it, I had to actually do it, like, uh, I think three times, because I kept touching the number one by accident before the paint had completely dried. So I just had to keep fixing it every single time. Okay, now lastly, you might be wondering about the face. The face was the last thing that I put on. Well... If you haven't figured it out already, it is a 
thumper face. Now, the thing here is that I actually, actually today, this happens to be recorded on the same day. Well, it's actually night time right now, but it's still the same day as when I recorded the Rusty and the Boulder Mountain set. This is later in the same day. It may actually be the next day by the time you're watching this, but it was the same day that it was recorded as the Rusty and the Boulder Mountain set. And as I've mentioned in that video, that set made me end up getting two thumpers. And I have the newer thumper, which... You know, there wasn't any modifications between uh, Thumper over the years. The The model was just always the same. Uh, there was never an updated version of Thumper. But, you know, I'm saying newer model because it was the new Thumper that I got, not the old one that I had from childhood. So, yeah. As you can see, the faces are exactly the same, because this was indeed a thumper face. So, doing that little bit of comparison. And, if you want to see how my older thumper, the first thumper that I had, looks now... Well, there you go. Now, it turned out that, uh... Well, I did watch a video that someone did on a custom Glyn, and they made it very differently from the one that... I've made, and in that video, the person said that when he sawed uh, Thumper, well, sawed the face off of Thumper, uh, the, you know, the pieces just ended up going all over the place or something, but he was able to save the face, but for me, the face just came off and nothing else. The rest of the model is still the same, nothing is loose or anything, uh, but, you know, I'm just bringing that out uh, to, to let viewers know that uh, the rest of the model is still intact after taking the face off. And I do have plans for that model, like maybe I will create a faceless version of Thumper's faces, which Thumper actually has no real bases. He's not based on a real machine, unlike the other engines and vehicles in the series are. He was... He was a, a type of machine that was completely made up, only appeared in Thomas the Tank Engine. You would never find a version of Thumper in real life, just in Thomas and Friends. But, you know, maybe make a version of what a real Thumper could look like if one ever existed. Alright, so, after saying all that, um... I really got nothing else to say in regards to this custom model. So, overall, I think uh, this uh, is all that I have to say in regards to this custom uh, wooden railway model. If you have seen uh, some posts on either uh, DeviantArt or my uh, Twitter account, you would probably see that I've taken a couple pictures showing some custom trains in process, which does include the process of the Wooden Railway Glen. I showed that off. Uh, the picture that I showed was the uh, the model as I was spray painting it. It didn't have all the details added on to it yet. The face was not added on. The top of the boiler was not added on. The detail was not added on. It was just showing the process and the, you know, it also showed the process well, it also showed the, uh, the thumper with the face removed, as well as another custom model, which is a custom wooden railway Rex. But I will go into more detail about that when I have that model finished, which probably should actually be sometime next week. Right now I am uh, bidding on a take-and-play Rex on eBay, and the, the auction is not over yet. At the time of the recording of this video, it is still going on, and it's uh, due to uh, due to be finished by uh, by tomorrow night. Well, the tomorrow night uh, from my time period during the time of the recording of this video, not necessarily the tomorrow night of your time period, depending on uh, when this video does come out. But, you know, 
win if I win that uh, eBay auction. I will take that take and play Rex's face and put it onto my custom model, but it may take probably either uh, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday for it to arrive. But whenever it does, I will then put the face onto my custom model, and then I will make a video showing it off. But that may be quite a while yet. And I do also have a couple other customs planned, but you'll have to wait and see what those are, or I may actually post some updates about those custom models before I even finish them. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.